How do our nervous systems play into the overload of you know, toxic stress? Mm -hmm. So we talk about what's called the ANS, mm -hmm. the autonomic nervous system. This is the one responsible for uh, relaxing the heart rate, for promoting the blood flow into the digestive organs during, uh, during digestion, mm -hmm. and in general relaxing the blood vessels. Um, this is the opposite response that we see to fight or flight. Okay, what's also called the, the sympathetic nervous system. So we want to encourage this relaxation response in terms of promoting um, relaxation to counter all the stress. So the other way to think about this is that we're designed to run from bears. Right. We're just not designed to run from bears all the time. And when we put ourselves in that kind of stressful situation, either from the workplace or our relationships or a toxic burden of stress on the system, then we're asking the body to do too much more than it can handle and we get things like adrenal fatigue. Mm. So if we can promote the relaxation response as simple as making time and space for meals, lighting candles, sitting down with loved ones, um, taking time to chew our food thoroughly, uh, taking deep breaths before meals, doing yoga, tai chi, uh, meditation, other forms of relaxation, listening to relaxation CDs. Mm -hmm. All of these are very helpful for promoting this autonomic nervous system that helps people to cope with the stress that they undergo, especially with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. So it bolsters our nervous system is what you're saying, or yeah. repairs well, it? Well, it helps, yes, it helps repair by allowing the uh, system to relax and not be in such a chronic state of stress and I've got to deal and run from the next bear that's coming around. So we're full of tension is what you're saying. Yes, and that is the stress response, is that it, we become um, locked into that pattern and our body is constantly responding to stress. It becomes, it can hold in the tissues. Uh, we call this issues in the tissues, by the way. Oh, okay. Right, the emotional manifestation. Mm -hmm. Um, people carrying the weight of their world, for example, on their shoulders, right? These are Sack analogies. Of grudges on their back. Exactly. People <laughs> can relate to this because they know they have issues in their shoulders mm -hmm. and they also know they have maybe an issue with taking on too much. Mm -hmm. So it's all part of this. The, the nervous system just simply manifests most directly what's happening in this, the emotional realm, the stressful realm, that sort of thing. Um, we also can manifest in our muscles and other parts of our body. But if, when we get our nervous systems calmed down, mm -hmm. then our muscles can start to release. Right. You get It's like the environment that's needed for healing. It's not running a marathon. Mm -hmm. it's, it's sleep. Mm -hmm. It's um, rest. Um, this is why when we think of healing centers or spas, what are they promoting there? They're promoting like hot tubs and massages and yeah, they're all not doing those, jumping jacks. <laughs> ah, all those things that help us with the relaxation response. That's where the deepest healing can happen. This is interesting, but what we have is old naturopathic therapies for people with chronic disease, chronic stress. Mm -hmm. They used to give them all kinds of um, strong herbal sedatives and knock them out basically for 24 hours at a time. Really? Just so that they could be sleeping this time and allow the body to do its own recovery. The body knows what to do when we give it a chance. There's a natural healing mechanism. I like that. The body knows what to do when given a chance. Yes, when we give it a chance. All right, thanks. You're welcome.